welcome to Mia Cucina. Mia Cucina in Italian means my kitchen. And today is an amazing, incredible day. Today in the United States is we vote for a new president. And I have voted, I have a little voted thing. So it's a time in history. And I want to introduce you to an amazing, delicious almond raspberry muffin. That it is amazing. And let me get this stopped over here. There we go. And what I want to bring your attention is to the ingredients. This is a very healthy nutritionist muffin. And it is delicious. And I want to bring that to you. So today, we really don't know how this amazing, incredible thing is going to go on. So I have a very special hot dollar today. And uh, this is my dog fatale all the dogs because we don't know who's going to win <laughs> so some people think oh, i may go to the gods i may not go who knows but anyways uh what matters is that we are alive and healthy and here we are and making this wonderful deliciousness of almond raspberry muffins because raspberries are full of antioxidants and they're wonderful. So what we are going to be utilizing is two cups of blanched almond flour. Blanched almond flour, two cups. I want to be utilizing a half a cup of tapioca flour. I'm going to be utilizing a half a teaspoon of baking soda, a half a teaspoon of baking powder, and a fourth teaspoon of salt. So that's going to be our dry ingredients. So I'm going to take you step by step, turn you around into 350 degrees. What I have done here is I have also used uh, the uh, coconut oil, like coconut oil inside of all of that, and then I put some semolina flour. And uh, so now I got them ready to rock and roll to put in the oven. Okay, guys. So let to your health. This is to your health, and I'm going to be showing you a lot of things to your health. So the first thing that I want to do is we're going to be sifting the uh, uh, wonderful blanched almond flour. And uh, so two cups are going to go into this uh, sifter. That goes one cup. And here comes the second cup right here. And let me tell you, of my coffee, it's in the microwave oven. And that's what was happening there because, it's, you know, these muffins... I made them earlier this morning so I can show you the end results. So my coffee right now, it's right in here. Let me bring this out because it's nice and early. A queen coffee because we're all queens and kings. And the, okay, so now that we have the two cups of almond flour here, now what we want to do is we want to take a half a cup of tapioca flour. Tapioca flour, guys, and I know, let me get this open. I always have problems with things opening. I can cook, but to try to open things up. And be careful with tapioca flour, because tapioca flour is very, very thin. And as you can see, I am wearing black, and I'm not worried about it. All right, so now we are done with these two ingredients. I'm going to move these guys out of the way, get them all out of the way. And then I bring this back over here. So now over here we have two cups of blanched almond, uh, almond uh, flour. Uh, we have uh, half a cup of tapioca flour. Here goes again half a teaspoon of baking soda. Half a teaspoon of baking, uh, and baking powder goes in there. And a fourth teaspoon of salt. So we are done with these guys. And now what we want to do is we want to sift this. This is so easy guys and so delicious that you can have this for Thanksgiving, you can have it for parties, you know, if you're going to somebody's house, uh, you can bake this, and they're, and they're wonderful warm, and they're also wonderful at room temperature. So what I'm, as you can see, I'm sifting, 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 because it's needed, and then I like to come in here with my hands, and get everybody in there, in there. Okay, so now that we are done with this, a transaction we are done with our dry ingredients now i'm going to bring your attention to the wet ingredients to these wet ingredients we are going to be utilizing three eggs three eggs go in here we are also going to be utilizing some wonderful um 
uh, maple syrup and uh, the maple syrup is, is going to be a third cup of maple syrup. Where happened to my third cup? Hey, where did my, where did my third cup go? Ah, my third cup is right here. So a third cup of maple syrup is going to go right here. Pretty much this is going to be the only sweetness to this entire wonderful muffins. So a third cup of uh, wonderful maple syrup because in here we have a one teaspoon of almond uh, almond extract goes also in here and this is going to give that wonderful almondy beautiful flavor so that, that, that take, we take care of that again let me repeat this one more time a third cup of, of, of uh, coconut uh, I'm, uh, I'm sorry, uh, uh, a third cup of uh, maple syrup was in here, three eggs goes in here, a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and then what we want to do is we want to come in here and we want to start uh, you know, mixing them up, breaking the eggs, because what we're going to do is we're going to be putting this wet into the dry ingredients. Because you know, I don't write down my recipes, so I, that's why I repeat them because I want to make sure that you have this. I get one third cup of coconut. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. What? <laughs> one uh, one third cups of maple syrup goes in here. One teaspoon of almond extra goes in here, and uh, and and the sweetness again is just the maple syrup. Okay, so now that we have this wonderful deliciousness right here, we are going to put that right in there, right in there, guys. Super easy transaction. This is so easy. Now we're done with that. Get that out of the way. And then what we want to do is we want to come in here and we just kind of want to mix. We just want to kind of mix. And it's a very beautiful, beautiful, beautiful uh, dough and uh, dough or cake mix whatever you want to call it and it's delicious oh wait till you have this guys it is delicious look how beautiful that looks look how beautiful that looks yes it is wonderful and now to this what I'm going to do is I am going to add a third cup of coconut oil third cup of coconut oil goes in there just like so and I'm just going to mix it and I'm just going to mix it like so, guys, just like so, okay? You see what I'm doing over here? All right, now to this, what I'm going to do is I am going to gently fold one cup of fresh raspberries. And raspberries are loaded with vitamin A. They're anti-inflammatory. They're wonderful for you. And, and they're antioxidants. And we really need that right now because we're coming into the cold weather. And when we come to, into the cold weather is when the sickness and the colds and the flus. So, you know, we really need to really start building up our immune system, guys. So this is what I'm doing. You see what I'm doing right here? I'm just folding it gently so I don't break my wonderful raspberries. Look at that. Oh, it's such an easy peasy, wonderful thing. All right, so now you want to bring your your uh, wonderful uh, muffin pans and I have, it makes 12. So what I like to do at this time, guys, is I like to get, where did it go? I had it here. Oh, things are disappearing. All right, but you know what? I'm not gonna worry about it. So what you wanna do is you wanna work with a tablespoon and a teaspoon. Because what I wanna do is I wanna take a tablespoon and then I wanna put a tablespoon on each one. And then we're gonna come back. Okay, and, and, it, and it makes it a lot easier when you use a, a tablespoon, guys, and then what you're doing is you're dropping it right in here like so. And it makes beautiful muffins. And then I'm going to show you a beautiful topping that goes with these marvelous, delicious almond raspberry muffins. And you're gonna get your oven to 350 degrees and they take anywhere from 25, depending on your oven, 25, uh, to uh, 30 minutes, my oven, I, uh, the, it takes about a good, to my oven, a good 20, uh, two minutes in my oven, a 350, depending again in your oven. All right, so let me put that over here. And as you can see, I am doing the, the, the tablespoon because I wanna make sure that everybody is going to get 
some of this wonderful deliciousness. And they rise very lovely. And when you use semolina flour, it gives it like a nice crunch on the bun. It is delicious. Now, as you can see, guys, I have done my one tablespoon, okay? And then what I want to do over here is I just want to come over here and just, you know, just time to, uh, so you're, what you're doing is you're letting all the air bubbles. And then you know where you need to add some more because sometimes, you know, you may add a little bit more than others over here because you want to make sure that they're all even Steven or all even. I know even Steven. <laughs> Do you remember when we used to say that in the 70s? <laughs> well, some of us do. You know, like some of us have those telephones. Trrr, 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 trrr. Do you remember that? And then the push button telephones. You know what? You know, I, I'm glad that I'm going through all of this. You know, it's just amazing, you know, what how our great grandfathers, you know, when the car when the cars first came out. Can you imagine, you know, how that must have been? Um in, in, the, in that era, I mean, you know, we all have our different eras in our time, in our lives. It's very interesting. And I, I'm still trying to create this, guys, okay? So now, just want to make sure that everybody is even. And really get in here, guys, because let me tell you, once you have one of these, you're not going to want to stop. And they're delicious with coffee. Yes, they are. And they're, and they're not really that sinful. They're not really that bad. <laughs> they're delicious. Okay, so now that I'm done with this, Finito with that. In Italian finishes finito. So now we come over here and we just keep doing this. Pa -pum, pa -pum. So now what I want to do is I want to bring your attention to the topping. It makes this amazing, delicious topping. Yes. And, and it all goes in the oven. That's it. All right. So the, to this, let me bring the ingredients over here so I can tell you about them. I have here a tablespoon of almond flour, a tablespoon of coconut, um, um, a tapioca flour, tablespoon of coconut flour, tablespoon of tapioca flour, and then over here, what I have here is I have a quarter cup of sugar, and then I also have here a tablespoon of coconut oil. And then what you want to do, guys, is you want to and I'm going to use my hands because I find that my hands are the best thing for this. And what I'm doing here is I'm just using my hands. You see that? And it almost makes like a caramel. It's, it's, it's just an amazing thing. And I'll show, you, show it to you. So then what you want to do is you want to come over here. You want to definitely put the toppings. You know, you figure out how much you want. Uh, you know, because what, what happens is I will show you when, how they, how they, you know, when they are, when they are uh, forming in the oven, th this sugar gets into with that wonderfulness that, you know, that we just made and it's delicious um, and it's wonderful. So again, this has got a, a, a third, um, uh, a fourth cup of coconut sugar, a tablespoon of almond flour, a tablespoon of tapioca, of, uh, tapioca of, of, uh, flour, and a tablespoon of uh, uh, coconut oil, and I also put a little pinch of salt. So as you can see, now these guys are going to go into the oven at 350 degrees, guys. And I am going to leave these here, and I'm going to for, for me, I'm going to put 22 minutes. And then what you get, you get this. You get this. And what I want to show you guys is what I've done here is I've taken one of the muffins and I just added a fresh strawberry. And what I, in the way that you, if you're having a party, if you're having friends over, you can put it in a very pretty dish but I want to show you what it looks like inside, shall we? So I'm going to take my little muffin and then I want to show you what it looks like inside. Look at that. Look at that. And let me tell you something, guys. 
con uno café. Oh, with the coffee is delicious. It is not super sweet. It's got a sweetness. You got the sweetness of a wonderful raspberry. And you are having protein that is from the almond. Oh, mamma mia. And then, you know, you have this beautiful little cute, innocent raspberry that is full of antioxidants, vitamin A, boosts your immune system, anti-inflammatory and increases, increases metabolism, guys. That's all I have for you. I am going to continue to eat my muffins and my husband is standing there because he's been waiting all morning for this. That's all I have for you guys. Almond raspberry muffins for your health. We will do anything. Okay, Jen, the belly bellies. Thank you so much for joining me today. I love you. Take care of yourself because when you take care of yourself and you take care of your health, then you feel good and you can get out and do things with your life. Enjoy your life. Grazie molte. Ciao, ciao, belly. I love every single one of you. Enjoy this beautiful raspberry.